He understands the heart. He embodies love. He knows passion, and he radiates seduction. Discover yourself and unleash each of your treasured desires. Combine body with spirit. Leap into the unknown. Dive into the abyss. Dance with the stars and follow the tide to the depths of the ocean. Both a yin and a yang, he holds the keys to the answers you seek. He's the dating doctor. Oh my god. We gotta go see him, dude. You can't be serious. Listen, I can't use this group on unless you do it with me. I, I'm sorry, man. Whatever that is, it's not my thing. Come on, you need this. Oh, do I? Mm. I know you've been hurting, bro, and that's cool. Yeah. Emotion is cool. Feeling is cool. It's cool. His only Yelp review is from a guy named Big and Sexy 32. So. No, no, five stars is five stars, bro. Uh, you're done, bro. It's this man's job to mend broken, beaten, betrayed hearts like yours. Let him help you. Yo, help me. No, 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 no. Don't make this about me. The group on covers the whole experience. Do it for me, man. I don't know, dude. The whole thing is... What? Don't be a bitch. He wears a kimono. You wear a kimono. It is a personalized luxury fleece bathrobe. Thank you. Bitch. Come on. Do it for me. Please. Please. Do it for me. Let me get some pussy. Come on, this. please. Come on, get excited, man. Fine, I man. Do fine, it. fine. Whatever. I'll do it. Whoa. For you. We're gonna give you that pussy down. We're gonna go. You owe me big time. You owe me big time. Au revoir, buddy. He was Bulgarian, so... Why are Uber drivers always so cool? They're just so cultured, you know? Yeah. That's mildly racist. Is this the right place? It's gotta be. He's a doctor. Doctors are loaded, right? I guess. Well, check it out. Let's do this. Relax. Hello. Marshall and John, I presume. Yes, sir. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Come in, please. All right. After you. Comfortable. Can I get you anything to drink? Water, perhaps? I'm good. If you don't mind. All right, what say we begin? 
I have been in practice for over 10 years. I have had clients from all over the world, but it is here now with you that we will create something truly special, something intimate. Before we begin, let's start with a round of introductions. Any volunteers? I'll go. Wonderful. Marshall, why don't you tell us what brought you here today? Well, to brush up on my game. Maybe teach you a thing or two. Marshall, how many women would you say you sleep with in a week? Two. Many to count. Hmm. Would you like some cantaloupe? Uh, I think I'm okay. Are you sure? Barnaby, why don't you share with us what brought you here today? <clears throat> well, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I've always had a problem with the ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, I've gone through my notes on multiple occasions. I just can't quite seem to find a solution. You will find in the course of our journey together that exposing yourselves is liberating. Mm -hmm. How much time a day would you say you spend talking to women? In passing, at the office, in conversation. <laughs> well, I say I say plenty. Uh, me and my sister, we both love Jeopardy. We, we, we watch it every night. Hey, Doc, what is I am a virgin for 400 points? Now, Marshall. Barnaby, can you tell me what Darwinism is? Darwinism is Charles Darwin's theory of biological evolution. It, uh, it argues that... Uh, <gasps> Look at me. You keep telling me. Darwinism. Barnaby. <gasps> oh boy. Oh boy. Look at me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. This was fun. I'm out of here. John, have a seat, please. Yeah, you can't be serious. What is true love? My love is my truth. My truth is my love. To embrace true love, you must look inside yourself to find your truth. What does your truth tell you? I'd like for us all to now join hands. That's it, John. Let us close our eyes. It is here in this circle that the three of you shall set forth on a journey, a journey of great wonder and mystery. This is what I like to call the sacred circle. you will find that the key to meditation is practice. Now, 
Who can tell me who this is? Barnaby? Uh, it's Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality. Correct. Ten points for Gryffindor. Barnaby, please instruct Marshall in how this goddess came to be. According to Greek mythology, the god Cronus, leader of the Titans, she castrated the god of the sky, Uranus, t tossing his genitals into the sea. The, the sea foam accumulated, and through this act birthed Aphrodite, whose name literally means foam risen. That is also correct. Ouch. Minus 10 from Hufflepuff. Hey, come on, I'm so not a Hufflepuff, bro. Dude, you're a Hufflepuff. You're a Hufflepuff. No. I'm a Ravenclaw, but... How do you know? I took an online test. Oh, so the sorting hat didn't tell you? No, the sorting hat did not tell me. Then how do you know for sure? Gentlemen! Sorry. Tell him he's a Hufflepuff. John, you are a Hufflepuff. I would now like to guide you through an exercise. Let us close our eyes again. Now visualize your personal Aphrodite. What is she doing? What is she wearing? What does she smell like? <laughs> and let us open our eyes. <laughs> you can have your Aphrodite, but at a cost. How much? You see, Aphrodite's beauty was so captivating that her father, Zeus, feared a rivalry over her amongst all the gods would interrupt the established peace. Now, in order to avoid this war, he wed her to Hephaestus, the god of fire, stonemasonry, and the art of sculpture. The art of sculpture. Sculpture, yeah. However, in doing so, he created an internal war within Aphrodite. You see, in denying her the freedom to choose whom she could love, she could no longer attain inner peace. Makes sense. Hold on, so what are you saying? Find in yourselves that which she seeks. Find your inner peace. Make her war your war. If you can accomplish this, then you shall encompass the love of your Aphrodite. Have you ever fought the war, Doc? So, then where's your Aphrodite? Win the war, win your Aphrodite. How will you know when we've won the war? Oh, you'll know. Find inner peace to get the dime piece. I get it, Doc. Now, your first task is to find that which you will be at war with. Wait, I thought you just said that we'd be at war with ourselves. You're confusing me, Doc. Dude, you are such a Hufflepuff. There is but one rule. What's that? There will be no sex of any sort until you have found inner peace. One must first learn to love oneself before one can love another. That's not a problem. No sex, that's not fair. Isn't that why we're here? Oh no, my young lotus flower. Until you muster the courage to brave your own journey, the rule must be obeyed. I will know otherwise. How so? The sacred circle is a sacred circle. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, thus begins your journey. Are you sure you're all right, man? You're acting all funky. 
I don't know, man. I just, I was thinking about what he said about fighting the war within. I kind of think I know what he was talking about. You can't be serious. You weren't into that shit, were you? I don't know, man. Uh, something happened. It was, it was weird. Yes, he scanned us out of a group on it in a perfectly good afternoon. Oh, oh, you had something better to do? Hmm? So you didn't find it at all insightful? Nope. That Barnaby, though, man, what a character, right? I think we should go to the next session. Why, you got a thing for the dating doc? Oh. You guys God. totally had a moment. I know, he was pretty hot. No, dude. <laughs> I'm saying, like, it was just kind of felt relaxing and... It was a solid change of pace, you know? Honestly, I don't. All right, well, I'll be back in a bit. All right, sweet, man. Oh, and hey. What's up? I think we have some uh, cantaloupe in the fridge. Uh, screw you, man. The guy who's Dumbledore, I'm telling you. Cantaloupe. Not a Hufflepuff, either. Mmm. Hello there, beautiful. You look like my new Aphrodite. What do you say? Shall we dance? <laughs>